Hey, hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to Isaac Afterbirth. And I'm actually kind of lost as to who I should choose, but you know, I eventually have to, so we'll go Eden Streak. <laughs> Start as we mean to go on, completely filled with lame, terrible, and downright cringy jokes from start to finish, uh, until the entire audience realizes they've wasted their whole evening at my show, and goes home while booing me and leaving me in tears on the stage as a puddle forms. <laughs> me, everyone, joke. Oh, please take joke back. <laughs> I guess that was me telling people I joke, and then them wanting me to withdraw the joke. I don't know, but it looks like we're kind of in a bow tie, doesn't it? I mean, the nail's great. Six red hearts, great. Like, not a horrible set of starting items for a little bit of Eden here. I don't know, really. I- Ooh, ho, ho, not bad at all. Four damage, looking good. I mean, I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, this is going to be quite a solidly good run. Ten minutes later, I die to fistula. I, I may have been wrong. I may have definitely been wrong. I take it back. I am very sorry. How often do you see a demon with, like, pure white hair? You'd think that would be quite a scarcity in the demon underworld, wouldn't you? I mean, if, if somebody's demon kid was like, You know, parents, demon parents, I've decided... Because that's how demon children speak. Everybody knows that is definitely how demon children speak. It would have been a horrible space bar item to start with, but obviously it ain't got nothing on having the nail regret. Regret was there. I mean, I had to use it, you know, I had to at least go for it. I had to try <laughs> I had to try Ooh, Sloth, not bad Though thinking about it, how much would you- Stop giving me spacebar items that normally would be kind of okay, but in this situation a terrible Game! Sort your life out! How much would you actually have to cry to have enough tears on the floor to actually form a puddle underneath you? I don't think it would be physically possible. I think you'd have to take, like, cry turns with, uh, like, a group of people. You'd have to keep making each other really, really sad as you take shifts in front of the bucket that you're trying to fill up with tears. And I don't even know why you're trying to fill up a bucket with tears. It really makes no sense. Though, it would be cool, right? I, I say cool. It would be horrific if, like, a scientist factually discovered that tears... If you drink them, like, like, gulp, not like you pull a tear off your face and, you know, lick it. Don't go licking tears. Uh, it's gonna be one of those runs, isn't it? It's gonna be, it's gonna be one of those runs, commentary wise. <laughs> let's say if you drink a liter of tears, let's go with a liter of tears. Uh, your life gets extended by a year without you aging. So you drink it at 22, a year goes by, you're still physically at 22 as you were when you drunk it, and then you start aging towards 23 again. But the catch is only tears that were produced naturally count. So in order for them to count, somebody actually has to genuinely cry and have their tears collected. It would create a very weird culture of people constantly trying to upset the hell out of each other and then instead of comforting them, they just hold bottles under their eyes. Oh, you just went through a really bad breakup. Oh, that's so sad. Come here. It's okay. I'll, I, it's alright. I'll comfort you. Can I just put this bottle under your eye, please? <laughs> In fact, you'd get people who deliberately uh, lead people on, then go, actually, nah, sorry, sorry, bitch, get out. Oh, oh, does that upset you? Does that upset you? Here, take this bottle, take this bottle. <laughs> there would just be like a black market of uh, tear salesmen, door to door criers, they'd be called, as they uh, arrive at your doorstep, open the door, and start insulting you profusely. They get really excited when a kid uh, opens the door, like, hey, kid, you're stupid. <laughs> Just try and get him to burst into tears and tell him his life is meaningless and no one will ever love him like I did when I was a child. What? Let's go to the next floor then. Pretty okay-ish first floor. You know, it's alright. I mean, the health's up. We've got a lot of health. Like, I won't deny devil deals are gonna be us. Like, devil, devil deals are us. Like the toy store, but, you know, a lot more satan-y. I think I might come back here once I've got a charge of... Uh, 
My, oh no, we do have multiple uses, so I, I guess I'll blow this one up. Yay, more health! The one thing that I really, really need. Did it? Did the shakers get turned into, like, other creatures? That's what it looked like happened here, wasn't it? Alright, that's looking good, as is that. Taking way too much damage, but I'm kind of firmly in the mindset of, look at my health, what's it matter? <laughs> what does it matter? I'm also thinking that this room here should definitely definitely be the one that I use the nail on, just because there are a lot of rocks to crush, a lot of stuff to get in the center, and uh, just seems like a high possibility of finding something worthwhile. I think what's going on is my tiers have the kind of size for damage that's way above what I actually have, because I'm not even one-shotting spiders, despite having tiers bigger than the spiders, which generally doesn't tend to happen in my experience, so I guess we'll have to see. I'll wait till I can grab the key in here before I do too much. I could do with a speed up. I think that's definitely something I am going to be on the lookout for. But for now, well, we just got to keep trucking on, you know? We just got to keep trucking on. Oh, yeah, the demon kid and his bad life choices. I forgot we uh, we went down that road. Demon parents, I want to dye my hair white. All the cool angel kids are doing it. And when I say that, I'm imagining the angel kids as the equivalent of the goth kids. You know, the stereotypical clique of the goth kids in films. And I don't know if they exist in real life, you know, didn't really in my school. But then again, I'm not American. Either way, I'm imagining in demon school, the equivalent of them is the really happy children. They're all dressed in white all the time. Because you know, the stereotypical fully dressed in black, you know. You know what I'm imagining, you know, the, the, the goth clique, fully dressed in black and purples and spikes and you know how they typically dress, but, you know, in Demon School case, it's like really nice clothes with just like really really well ironed white press shirts, maybe maybe a white turtleneck sweater, you know, really, really go for it, the, the, the angelics they're called, the angelic kids. <laughs> It's just like, I'm totally one of them. And he's like, no, you're not Jimmy the Demon. Because obviously his name is Jimmy the Demon. Eh, we'll get a little uh, charge. That's much better than a chance to become Blue Baby. See, it just feels like that's not really a good prize. Because you have a chance to become something terrible instead of dying. Yay, I guess. Yay. So much better than dying is becoming a walking unfeeling, unflinching corpse. Totally. Thanks, game. Really, really like it. Oh, man. I'm so ready. Okay. Uh, da -da -da devil curse. Da -da -da devil curse. Yes. Da -da -da devil curse. That's, that's how I do. Ooh, get the bombs over there. I kind of wanted the bombs to help me kill the demon, but I guess that's not happening. I'm not actually hitting him. No! No, he hit me. He hit me. He hit me. I'm so upset right now. Why is he so tough? Holy hell! This is ridiculous! Not only is he a dodgy bastard. Oh, I was really, really ho- Yes! Oh, that's so lucky! That is so, so lucky. We don't take the red heart damage. No, we don't, spiders! No, no, the irony is not gonna happen. Cool. That is really hilarious. I thought we were guaranteed to take red heart damage there, but we got away with it. We absolutely got away with it. That is so fantastic. It really is. Item room! Oh, yes! A bouncing tears run. One of my favorite things in the game. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me, in keeping with my new ethos for the channel of doing new stuff that I just kind of want to do, I do want to do a little bit of varied Isaac stuff, and I don't just mean in the types of runs that I do, I mean in the sense that I think it might be kind of fun to do something along the lines of uh, my favorite items in Isaac, or my least favorite enemies, you know, kind of like a top list, but probably structured a little bit differently, I don't know, is, is that something that would be interesting? Like, say if it was just simply my top five favorite Isaac items but done a little bit better than that. Would that be something you guys would be interested in? I genuinely don't know. I was just thinking about it last night instead of going to sleep because I really suck at controlling my brain. I, I don't know. You'll have to let me know. Range is great with Bouncing Tears, that's for sure. Unfortunately, no Devil Deal. Oh, why? Why do you do this? Oh, I mean, I'm gonna do it, but... What a freaking waste of red hearts. Like, seriously, that is tragic. That is absolutely tragic. I guess the silver lining is that we can have a little look in this room now. See if there's anything worthwhile. Triple red chests. Not bad. 
Have we got a secret room? No, we don't have a secret room here. That's interesting. All right, we got so those there. Retrovision and lemon party. What? What is... Oh, pin. I was like, what the hell's happening? There's no bosses? There's no anything? Is it just me? Or did pin take a long time to actually attack me there? Like, I really felt he was taking his sweet time about it. We'll take Lemon Party to the next floor, because it actually does help us clear a room. And genuinely, Lemon Party can solo a lot of bosses. Look at us walking right, our arm flapping in the breeze behind us. Oh, it just looks so wrong. It really does. Though, to be fair, ten minutes to the third floor is really slow considering how actually quite powerful we are right now. So, maybe I... Ooh. 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 I... Mm, that, is, that is a conundrum, isn't it? That is a conundrum and a half. I think we ignore that one, mainly because I obviously don't want Ghost Baby, and the nail is comparable to the Book of Belial. Not as much damage, but definitely the Spirit Heart makes it, I think, better for the most part, especially with the nerf. If... if if Booker B was still 100% Devil Deal, then I would have got it there, because it's like a damage up goat head. But in its current state, I think I would rather have the nail in most cases. Unless I'm already dripping in health from some other reason, then then obviously I'd rather just have the pure damage. But in just a general item that helps you win a run, I think the nail has been upgraded uh, past that of Booker B now, which is quite real to think about. I've not actually considered it since uh, the nerf happened. Oh no, all my damage. I'm taking so much damage. No, not damage. I am so scared that I am going to die. I really can't lose this run after talking all this mad shit, can I? I just really, really can't. Alright, let's have a look in here, Gubby. <laughs> Alright, I didn't quite expect that to instantly happen, I'll admit, but you know, it did, and that's fair enough. That is fair enough. Don't blow up in my face. Well... I mean, one out of three isn't horrible. I kind of would have expected it to be all three of them, honestly, knowing me. We really, really need some speed up. I mean, the, the dead cat tail wrapped round as a, uh, as a uh, belt look is definitely an interesting one, that's for sure. It's, it's definitely got its merits to it. I mean, it's also got its negatives as well, don't get me wrong. But, you know, I, I, think, I, think, Eden's, I think Eden's making it work, mainly because he already looks like a terrifying freak, especially with his eyes like that, and, and the fact, you know, I, I suppose, shout out to the dead cat head following him, that's that's also going to generally creep people out, I kind of want to use the nail, obviously, so I can keep charging it, so I will, but I don't know, a part of me just wanted to keep it for the boss fight, I, I'm not really sure every now and then whether I should use it or just save it, but I think I should just treat it as, like, revelation and just use it whenever it comes up for the most part, because the damage up isn't massive, it's not like it's going to be game changing. Oh! Oh my god, rubber nails! <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a rubber nail run! Oh! Oh my tears, give me a pint of the children's freshest <laughs> tears, I should say. Tears, you know, obviously... Obviously, in our hypothetical tear immortality scenario, you know, the, the, the children would have the best quality tears. Everybody knows that. I mean, witches, witches hunt children for a reason. You know, I'm not, I'm, not ma I'm not making this up, okay? I shouldn't have to defend my choice to drink kids' tears! God, there is so much wrong with everything I just said, and I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, I am so happy, though. Having a bouncing nail run is very... Cool. Yay, Abel! Thanks so much for coming with us. God, so happy you're here, really. I don't know what I would have done without you. Oh, that looks so cool! Look at this room! Vom, 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 vom. That is just absolutely flawless. Absolutely flawless. Hey, Frail. I got some nails for you. Oh, did I kill you with my nails? I did. Though, how sharp would your nails have to be to kill someone? Actually, not very. Like, human nails are quite deadly weapons when it comes to it. Hey, it almost looked like I had double shot for a second there. That's kind of nice. Dodgy, dodgy, dodgy. And more health up. Come on, really? Please don't just be too, too hard devil deals. Oh, yeah, obviously I remember what the devil deals were. <laughs> hey, I'm an idiot. All right, let's move on. I got this, you know. 
I got this. I think you should get more angel room weight if you resist a devil deal without checking what's inside it. I think if the devil deal opens but you literally don't walk in the room, then you should only have to ignore one devil deal that way to get an angel room deal. Because, let's be honest, it's not very angelic of you or, you know, good-hearted to go, Alright, okay, I, I guess, you know, while I'd ideally like to not sell my soul to Satan and become an agent of darkness and instead follow the path of the holy retribution of the angels, you know, we might as well have a window shop before we commit. You never know, it might turn out that there's stuff in there that's worth eternal damnation for. We'll just have a quick peek in before we go down the path of the angels and see if there's anything there. What a great set of item rooms so far. Like, genuinely, really not bad. Every Every single one has been very, very nice. But yeah, we'll have a we'll have a quick look, see what's on offer, see if there's a sale on Brimstone. If not, then I guess we'll go for the you know the good path that that seems sensible, right? Ooh, do I want trickle charge? I think I want trickle charge. I think that's better than the watch battery. I'm not actually 100% sure either way, but I guess we'll find out. Don't blow up in my face. Yes, continue to not blow up in my face. Rainbow! Good old rainbow, what are you? Friends till the end! That's not bad. I mean, I'm only walking over mushrooms because I do have such ridiculous health generation now. I mean, obviously now that I've got Dark Bum, I can kind of see the merit for taking Book of Belial, but, you know, we had no idea that's what would happen when we first passed up on Book of Belial, and you can't do decisions based on a future that might not happen. Otherwise, you'll just end up going crazy. Take that from me as solid life advice. You know what, Donation Machine? It's sad that you're not on 300, and I don't think we'll need the money on this run. I think it's a quality enough run without the money. So there you go. You enjoy yourself. You enjoy all those lovely nommy pennies that I have uh, fed into your system, and... Uh, We'll get this going on. Yes, we will. We'll get it going on. All right. Spidras have left the building and probably then re-entered the building because you've always got spiders in your house. As much as I don't want to admit it, I can't deny the cold heart facts that it is likely that there is a spider within five feet of me. Oh, God. Why did I think about it? What possessed me to think about it? I am a foolish fool. Oh, that is just not good. That is just so, so not good. All right. I mean, I do kind of want more keys, but I mean, I guess we'll do the boss first. There's no real harm in giving it a go. And come on. Yeah. Well, I mean, we at least got one mushroom. That's something. Who is our boss? Gertie. Good old Gertie. Oh, I thought, you know, is there a chance that he'll miss if I just stand still? But as it turns out, that's not what happens. So, uh, you know, we kind of just got hit straight up in the face. We'll do that. It'll bounce around. Should get the flies. These two will bounce and hit the ones at the front. That is good. Uh, all right. Fairly, fairly easy Gertie fight. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't get Champion Gurgle, who just kind of sits there and accepts his death. But still, we have health for days. More range is obviously great with uh, bouncing tears. So that is lovely. And there it is. Uh, Long may he reign, Lord of all cats. Lord of all cats. That is it. We have done it. Who gave a cat a rubber nail gun? That's what I'd like to know. Who the f fell? Who the fell? Yes. Who the fell energy felt the need to give a cat a nail gun? It just doesn't even make any sense. Obviously, getting guppy is just... Well, I mean, I think, I think if there's one thing... We can confidently say now that, you know, I predicted earlier, but it was still maybe up in the air earlier. I think we've won this run. I don't think there's really any way for this to fail at this point. Like, I, I just don't see how it would happen, right? Surely there is not a single possible path that this run could take that would result in me dying. Like, like, come on, you, you, you'd make that prediction, right? If somebody told you, you got to put money down, you got to put money down on uh, the result of this run, you got to really commit to it, you got to get your bet on, you got to sit there with your ticket next to the booth, watching me on screen while a horse racing commentator says everything that I'm doing. Oh, the the boss, 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 the
you have no idea what he's saying, but he's getting really excited about it, and that makes you really excited as well. <laughs> that was a really quick Loki fight, wasn't it? I almost feel bad for him. Almost being the operative word. Did I even use the nail? I feel like I just didn't use the nail. You! Oh! Oh! Out of all the freaking chess that I could have chosen, the one that I had the feeling for had Cricket's head in. Is it just me, or am I using up a lot of luck on this run? A lot of luck that I that I might need on, on future floors. I, I have a feeling that I might regret this. At the very least, we now no longer need to open gold chests, because we're flying and we've got the damage boost, and that's what we really need them for. I don't know why I'm accentuating every now and then with my words. Ooh, bouncing boomerang tears. Is that... I don't think that's actually that good. I think it kind of throws them off. And if if it was just boomerang tears, honestly, I'd be like, yeah, that'd be cool. But, I mean, we have... Oh, we could have had conjoined. Damn it. I mean, if we have the opportunity, at least I think so, to spectral baby count, if we have the opportunity to try for something better, why not? Because we're in a fortuitous situation where there isn't, oh, that's a tease, where there isn't actually any items I really need, we are powerful enough now to win the run, so I'm not really desperate to take anything that could have shown up there, you know, I'm I'm just happy to kind of just chill and move on, and I think there's nothing really wrong with that. We kind of annihilated this floor pretty quickly, which is uh, cool. I guess what I will do is smash up all these skulls. We're already low on the whole time thing, so there's no real need for me to not do a lot of hosts all up in here. I guess the hosts are by far the most common thing you can uh, potentially get from schools, right? That's definitely up there. Are they more common than nothing, though? Is there is there over a 50% chance to get a host from a skull? I actually think that might be worth looking into, because the more I think about it, and the more we see hosts pop out of skulls, the more I think that genuinely there might actually be a higher chance to get a host than to get literally nothing, which would obviously be quite interesting. So we have got a lot of health, a lot of damage, we're flying, we've got a lot of backup health, we've got a great spacebar item there. There really is nothing that we're missing on this run. It's very rare that this happens where you're like, apart from pure damage output, which is always an improvement, there's actually nothing that we really need on this run. And that is just amazing. Alright, and pop, pop, pop to you. I do love the image of a cat with a nail gun, though. I really do. I mean, not that a cat could use a nail gun, because it lacks the proper opposable uh, thumbs to do so. But, you know, it would be nice to see it try and fumble with it. God, it is so dark in this Curse of Darkness, which I get, you know, pragmatically is the point of the Curse of Darkness. But still, uh, ooh, we got ourselves another re-roller. And kind of disappointing so far. Still kind of disappointing, if I'm honest with you. Come on. Hey! Toxic shock! With the damage that we have, this item is very good. We're just going to cleave a load of rooms by simply entering into them. Look at that. Look at that! Now, the question is, does toxic shock tick summon flies? Because if so, that is Bonkers. Uh, really, that was actually my impression of the song, but it sounded like I just uh, ate some gravel at the same time that I decided to say the word bonkers. So, yeah, I'll I'll refrain from attempting anything that requires musical talent ever again. I mean, we all know that's a lie and I'll forget, but I could at least try and make that promise. That's, that's the main thing. That is uh, definitely... Uh, the main thing. All right, we'll grab that there. Looking good. Anything up here? No, nothing crazy. That is a fine. Oh, God! I completely did not see that that was a boss door. I didn't look at my map. I just kind of walked in. I mean, fortuitously, it doesn't matter because we got the item room and we don't have enough money for the shop, really. So it's not a big deal. But Curse of Darkness just absolutely screwed me on that one. That was ridiculous. Oh, man. Okay, on we pop then. Ah, of course we're lost. Of course we are. Do I have enough damage to kill all of these? No, but I imagine they're very, very injured. Yeah, they're only... Oh, that... Bounce! See, the thing about bouncing tears is it's just not random. I am convinced so, so hard. 
In fact, I think this is just factually accurate. I don't think I need to be convinced of anything, but I do believe that uh, Bouncing Tears deliberately target enemies a lot of the time. Some of them do definitely go off randomly, but more than not, they do straight up look like they're going for enemies. Please, keys? Yes, good, because obviously I need to get to four keys in the next two floors, which, you know, normally would be completely easy and completely fit. What? Did I just kill Blastus? This is this so hard that he forgot to split into his lower pieces. He was just like, hell no! Do I want to deal with this? Did you see how quickly I died? I'm not going to subjugate my children and my children's children to this fate. I will just not do it. I say I will not. We're all going to die together. I mean, it's kind of romantic uh, and really beautiful and loving in a way, but at the same time, dude, you just six tuple sacrifice. That is a lot of sacrifice. And, uh, you know, we only need a little bit of sacrifice. Is that the song? I don't think that's the song. You got to sacrifice. That's not the song either. What's the sacrifice song? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't want health, actually, because, you know, we might not get the devil deals to get rid of it. You only need a sacrifice. Because you're full of ice. No, what's the song? What's the song about ice and sacrifice and full of vice and nice? Are they even rhymes in the song? You only need a sacrifice. That's not it either. Guys, it's really freaking me out. I need to know how to sacrifice. I really do. I, I can't. You only need a sacrifice because you're trying to save a life. That's a different song, isn't it? That's... Uh, that's you only tried to save yourself. Why can't I music? I just, I, I'm so sorry. For those of you that know the songs I am butchering right now, you've got to, you've got to be thinking hot damn. Just hot damn. I would be using my nail, by the way, but at this point, oh, no, there's a battery there. Okay, we'll, we'll use that then. And we'll definitely blow up this too because... Uh, you know, doesn't cost a key, and anything that doesn't cost a key is fine with me, and yes, there it is, uh, the four keys that we need. Uh, you only gotta sacrifice to save a life. I, I think you are lame. No, I'm thinking of the Weird Al version now. You know, the one where he's taking off t-shirts, loads of t-shirts? You know the one with loads of t-shirts? Does anybody know the video with all the t-shirts in? <laughs> Alright, I'm struggling and I'm panicking a little because I sound like a raving lunatic. And I, I, I mean that more so than normally. Oh, please give me that sweet, sweet coal. Please give me that sweet, sweet coal. Thank you very much. I am chain taking damage here and that is not good. Alright, bouncy nails of pure darkness. That is what I like to see. I should be using my nail a lot more. We're kind of low on the whole health front, but at least now we have a map. We do have a map. Ain't that just jolly great? Alright, the worm's gonna take a lot of damage from toxic shock. That is good. Ow! That really hurt and was genuinely surprising, so there we go. I mean, even if we do die, we have such damage out up We have such damage output that that nine lives is actually really quite a lot. Though I do need to be careful. I I'm suddenly down from max health to three and a half hits away from death. I mean I don't know how I get hit for half a hit, but you know, I'm sure the game will find a way to do it. And splat down, there we go, looking good. And finally we have ourselves the charge. Ooh, we'll do this and then we can uh, use the room to get them to uh, red hearts is fantastic for our friend dark bum and there we go suddenly a load of health returns to us oh poor little chub hardly even got to move off the spot the little darling <laughs> yeah i just called chub a little darling i've realized the implications of that but that's okay i imagine you know baby chub was probably kind of cute i'm sure his slug mother was proud of uh, of him or her. I don't know the genders of the bosses. Does a gender of a giant death worm really need to be something that's discussed? Or do we, do we need to know? I mean, it's not like we're going to have a nature documentary. All right, now here we see. All right, little blighter. I'm going a little bit Scottish. I was trying to go your typical, you know, crocodile hunter. Cro crocodile hunter accent, but I was, I very much just went Highlands. Uh, now here we see in the background uh, a giant worm. Now this worm has got rows and rows of teeth that would put a shark to shame. 
It preys on the weak by suddenly appearing out of nowhere and charging straight at them. Normally this is an ineffective tactic as you can simply move to the side, but when the prey is controlled by rage off YouTube, well, he tends to get hit because he sucks. And that's my appearance on the documentary, which is really, really sad. Alright, up we go. I don't even know at this point. Alright, Crocodile Dundee. I can't do it. I can't even do it! Can you guys do the accent? You know, alright, we've got a right nibbler. I can't. I can't do it. Is nibbler even a thing? I mean, all I can think of is the Futurama nibbler, but I don't think that's, that's actually a thing. I mean, a nibbler... I guess nibbler is a word in the sense that, oh, you heard about Uncle Sam. He's a nibbler. Every time you go near him, he'll just start gnawing away at you. It's really, really weird. I just don't know why he's doing it. All right, grab that key there. Looking good. I don't know why I'm picking up this money. We always have this conundrum in nearly goddamn every run we play, don't we? The, the sort of, I have so much money, no reason to have so much money, yet I keep spending time picking up money because why? I'm just so hardwired programmed to pick up each and every speck of money that drops that I simply cannot not do it. That's all it is. Oh yeah, I just realized we never got the... We never got the ability to get rid of our last red heart, so I guess in that case, fate would have been an improvement, but we obviously couldn't have known that was to be the case. Uh, kind of hoping for a Yero that I can spend all of these keys in a lot more meaningful way, though at the same time, we do have Guppy's Tail, so we are going to be getting a lot of uh, chess on the chess, which means that we probably do want to have these uh, backup keys when that happens, so it's not really a big deal. Normally, that room is fantastic, but it's a little bit too late for that to be the case. We've had uh, all of the good... Uh, chest items that we can get out of regular golden chests are not really a big deal up to 62 money I mean for once please just give me money equals power you know is that is that so hard to ask obviously these guys aren't gonna take much in the way of killing we should be able to get back up to a full nail charge before Isaac kill him a little bit quicker our flies should make short work of Raph over there although it does seem to me our flies are doing a fairly bad job at doing damage, considering they do double our damage, and our damage is already maxed, but maybe I'm just underestimating how much health your average Raph has. Uh, and I suppose we should at least spend some of our money, just just because we can. We'll get rid of Daddy Longlegs here. I think I'm going to dodge you. I'm not going to dodge you. I'm just going to go here. The reason I wanted to do that is because it's easier to see. It was going to be easier to see. No! He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. It was going to be easier to see, of course, whether he's summoning something, you know, by, by his facial expression. But then, but then Abel did... What? Was there two Daddy Longlegs in this room? That's quite intense. But then, obviously, Abel felt the need to stand in front of him, so I couldn't actually tell what was going on. So, that was great. Alright, well, we've got ourselves a full nail once more. Do I go up and left? I think it is up and left. You know, if I had to guess, and I do because I'm playing and I need to decide where to go. Oh, that is a shame. That is such a shame. I was so, so wrong. I swear to God, if it turns out being down off that big room, I... I am going to be, yep, yep, totally is, isn't it? 100%, that's, that's what it's going to be. To the moon! That was such a pointless, pointless, pointless moon there. Oh, no, there's half a heart. I mean, if this results in a, yay, all right. So I guess I'll allow it. I just didn't pick it up, didn't I? Yeah, I just, I just like knowing it's there, but I don't actually need it. I've got to assert some mad dominance over the bosses all up in here. I'm so happy to have some bouncing nails. It's really, really good. All righty. And uh, goodbye, Goodster. Goodbye. There's a red heart there for Dark Bum to get all over, but at the same time, no, I shouldn't be too complacent. I should let him grab it, if only because. Oh, so many bombs! How did I not take damage there? <laughs> Why did I see Curse of the Tower and then think, yeah, you know what, that's actually a really good idea, I'll, I'll totally get that item, that, that won't backfire at any point, I, I can't see how that could backfire in any way at all. And then, here we go, I guess I'll grab this, because it's the last one before we go up, just in case, and yeah, it gets me a spirit heart, not bad at all. Here we go then, Isaac, here we go, I mean, he should die fairly quickly. Actually, all those bombs around him are genuinely going to be quite the big deal, and careful! Oh, wow! I'm 
surprised as hell I did not take damage there. Not that hell probably gets surprised very often, you know, the center of all darkness. Probably has a good handle on things, but you never know. Occasionally, Satan might be surprised. I guess he gets surprised when somebody turns down his offer, maybe? Way Did I get enough defensive items up here? I'm thinking maybe I didn't. Alright, Retrovision. How is Retrovision a good pill? I mean, yes, I know it's not strictly bad. I guess, actually, yeah, it's a neutral pill, isn't it? And uh, PhD only eliminates strictly bad pills. Ooh, look, a bit of undefined action. That is interesting. So whether we want to give up the nail for a shot at teleporting closer to the boss, I think maybe? Actually, why not? Why not? Let's do it. Let's see where we end up. Um, this definitely looks interesting. I suppose we should use this as much as possible, just in case. Uh, use bombs wisely. You know what? Why, thank you for that, for that little, little smidgen of advice there. Blood Penny's actually really good to come out of this, because then if we do get constant money drops, which we're really big fans of getting while uh, not needing any money, we can convert it into mad amounts of spirit hearts. That is lovely. I am taking a little bit too much damage, but now that I have Wafer, I just... I just don't care. You know? I just, oh, of course we instantly got Yera. That sucks. I mean, there's not much we can do about it. It was bound to happen eventually, but that is a shame. Oh, would you look at that. Would you look at that. Don't even care that I got Yera anymore. <laughs> and away we go. So many bombs. Oh, I got chain bomb. It's a good job that the bomb explosion from Curse of the Tower doesn't summon bombs. Otherwise, we just literally never stop having bombs summoned. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't want permanent blanket explosions all over my boss fights. It tends to make it very difficult to fight in a logical manner. And there we go. What a lovely, lovely run. Just nice, wasn't it? And the occasional purple bouncing nail is kind of cool too. But yes, like if you enjoyed this subscribe for more and I'll see you next time oh good boy yeah.